Alright everyone, welcome back to the online class. In this session, we are going to study about Hangout 5. Alright, so now we are let's getting started with our lesson together. Review 2, we are going to continue about our review 2 by going to section C. So now you all have to read and circle the mistake and then write the correct word. Are you ready everyone? Now, let's do it together. You can pause this video and after you finish, you can continue the video. Alright, so now let's find out the answer together. Number one, she always hard working. She always hard working. Do you think we missed something everyone? Yes, of course, we miss to be, right? And now number two, has she cleaned the bathroom yet? Where, what is the mistake? 3. The bakery are behind the market. Did you find a mistake? 4. I like he because he is adventurous. Mm. 5. Have anyone cut the grass yet? 6. Turn right and go straight. Hopefully you all found the mistake. Now let's check the mistake together. The mistake number 1 is the word she. Usually she, when you want to describe a person or describe the personality of someone, we have to use it to be. She is. She is. She is always hardworking. She is always hardworking. 2. Has she cleaned the bathroom yet? The sentence here is about the present perfect simple. When you want to talk about something that we have done recently, you have to use the present perfect, right? Okay, in here, in the present perfect, the verb is must be verb 3. Has she cleaned the bathroom yet? Cleaned with ED. 3. The bakery are behind the market. Look at the word bakery. It is the singular, it's not the plural. So when you use the singular, you have to use with to be is because is is refer to something that has only one so the bakery is behind the market four i like he because he is adventurous so it, it is not the word he so we have to use with the i like him because he is adventurous five have anyone cut the grass yet anyone look at the word anyone everyone anyone is the singular subject right so has anyone cut the grass yet 6. Turn right and go straight. So when you want to give the direction to someone, you have to use the normal verb, okay? Don't use it as the, uh, the verb that used with a singular subject, like goes. Because in here, we just give someone a direction. We don't have to change it, okay? So it is about turn right and go straight. Okay, so next we are going to read the story uh, in part D, everyone. So in part D, read the story, choose the correct word from the box, and write them next to number 1 to 5. And there is also one example, which is about the answer that uh, they uh, given already. Okay, so we have uh, the words in the box here, everyone. Like we have the word brave, train station, honest, watered, wash, Silly, windows, park, feet, or nervous. Okay, are you ready everyone? You can pause this video in order to do this exercise. I give you the time uh, to do it for around 2 minutes. Please pause the video, be honest, okay? Alright, so let's check about answer together everyone. So here is the answer. I have lots of friends, but my best friend is my dog. His name is Tommy. I like him because he's always brave and never unfriendly. I took Tommy to visit my aunt yesterday so she could meet him. My aunt is usually nervous when she sees dogs because she is frightened of animals. But Tommy is a young puppy. He is often silly, so he made her laugh a lot. She gave me some food to feed him, and then I helped her in the garden. We watered the plants and weeded the garden for about three hours. In the afternoon, we took Tommy for a walk in the park. Then my aunt came home with us for supper. She says she thinks Tommy is great, and now she doesn't feel nervous when she sees animals. 
Okay, so our reading is about the animals, right? The dog named Tommy. So for you, do you think you are afraid of dog? I think for some people they feel afraid of dog because they feel like oh the dog might bite him, right? So that's why they feel like they scared of uh, you know, touching the dog or staying close to the dog. But in here, the dog here is is really cute, and. He is the puppy, right? And his name is Tommy. And the dog make her aunt laugh a lot, and her aunts really love that dog. Okay, all right, everyone. So now let's choose the best title for the story. Do you think which one is the correct or which one is the best title for our reading? A. Tommy goes to the town square. B. Tommy visit my aunt. C. Tommy, the unfriendly dog. I know that you also have found the best title, right? Okay, so now let's see everyone. So as we know that our reading is focused about dog and the aunt. Okay, we extremely focus on the aunt as well. So the aunt feel like the auntie that uh, she doesn't like the dog, but actually when she meet Tommy, Tom, uh, she feel like oh she really like Tommy. Tommy is really cute. Okay, and you know like the girl just uh, bring the dog to visit her aunt as well. Okay, so mostly the title is about Tommy visit my aunt. So the best title is B. Tommy visit my aunt. Okay, that's it, everyone, for our video lesson today. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Good luck. Have a nice day.